Hello everybody, it's the time of day again. We are playing indie horror games today. We're playing Reflection. I hope you read that warning in the starting screen, the splash screen. That is really important. If you are bothered by such things, if such things are difficult for you, it's best that you not see this video or play this game. Let's read the description of the download page. After purchasing an antique mirror, Ivy finds herself playing a strange game. Reflection is a short horror story about a student studying folklore and the occult. Contains strong language, depictions of gore and murder, mentions of suicide and drug use. Let's check out the preferences and the standard RMP preferences. Okay, so yeah, let's begin. The sweet smoke of the dying candle dances through the room, enveloping my senses. A small distraction as the dark world behind my eyes descends. Okay, deep breaths. Visualize. Feel the room. Time passes, though how much I'm unsure. The tendrils of my memory reach out, shaping the darkness, giving it life. Well, that's negative life. Come on, focus. It worked? I sigh, repeating the descriptions my friends had made of me before. You're insane. Certifiably crazy. Wow, that's a nice one. Giving my head a shake, I continue. Here we go. The first rule. Contemplate your decision to visit. Well, I'm a curious person. Maybe a simple answer isn't enough? I'm studying folklore and I love the occult. I'm working on my masters. And yesterday I noticed just how empty my apartment is. It doesn't feel like it's mine yet. I moved from shared housing and finally have my own space. I was excited at first. No roommates, no parties, no drama. But aside from a bed and a table, I didn't bring furniture. I mean, we don't need that much furniture. Not even a mirror. So I walked into an antique store when I saw an old mirror in the window and I bought... Ooh, actually there is an antique store just a couple blocks from where my apartment is and I actually love those things. Anyway, when I tore off the paper the clerk had wrapped it in, I saw writing on the back of the frame. Carved into the wood, the rules. When online searches and the school archives turned up blank, I knew I had to play. Ouija boards, pendulums, tarot cards, I've tried them all. If it's an occult practice, I've studied it. Rituals especially, Ooh, I would love to make that my job selling those things, but... I know something has to pay the bills. All right, covered rule one. The second rule, give her permission to borrow your voice, but nothing else. I continue without hesitation. You may borrow my voice. There is no reply. Rule three, let go until she arrives. I loosen my grip and allow my mind to wander. Wandering, 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 my flesh screams below, begging me to turn back. I love the sensation. Review the rules early while you wait. I recite them in the stillness of the void. Allow her to speak first. Ask if you've met before. Speak quietly. Say goodbye. Don't open your eyes. Don't accept any deals. Never break the mirror. Ooh, that's true, actually. Never visit twice. Never scream. I resist the urge to roll my eyes. These rules reek of childless plotting. I mean, girl, come on. Something sifts. My nails dig into the vanity nearly cracking. The sensation of breath on my neck is familiar. The pattern unmistakably human. Hello. As the air traces my skin, I feel an echo in my bones. It's cold, freezing. Still wondering? She's here. Oh, no, 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 don't do that. Don't zoom in. Her presence. It's how we match in the spirit world to be. Back to back with our own felt and heard, but unseen. 
Oh. Ivy. My heart shudders. I knew she'd borrow my voice. Oh, I forgot what your voice was like. But that's fucking weird. I clear my throat. <laughs> Hell. The rule jumps to my mind and I rush to correct myself. Have we met? Yes. A gasp escapes me. It's not a scream. It doesn't count. I know what it's like to try to scream. How did she? But I didn't when the girls first came for me. I ran to my father instead. He opened the door when they brought the tape. The rope, rather. He didn't want to a troublesome daughter. A girl who reeked of vanity. A sinner. A little witch. They were jealous girls. Even when I hung from the tree, my hair fell in perfect ringlets and glistened in the sunlight. They didn't stay to watch me die. You see, they didn't drop me from the branch. They lowered me. It was slow and boring. They hung me from a willow on the ends of the lake. I used to admire my reflection on that riverbank, but that day I swung in the breeze and watched my feet dangle above the water's edge. What the flip? I saw my eyes bulge and my tongue beg to leave my throat. I wasn't pretty anymore. Just like father said. Cast is everyone that hangeth on a tree. I was trapped there, even after the warmth had left my body. The pain didn't end. I wondered if that was death. If I could feel my body pull at my neck like a rotten ankle until it finally gave way and left my skull behind. I wonder if I'd be buried beside my mother and feel her decay next to me. Damn, this is dark! The sun set and no one came. I swayed there through the night, but when dawn broke and the morning light shone on my corpse, I slipped away. I fell into the stream and lingered there for a time. It washed away the pain. But that purity, putrid anger remained. Okay. I'll try not to scream. Now I visit girls like me. The ones who watch themselves die slowly. My throat tightens. I'm not like you. Goosebumps trace my spine as he laughs. Do you remember the bridge? Those girls were just like the ones that tied the noose. They wanted to watch a pretty girl die. And you wanted to make them smile. Oh shit, you thought they were your friends. My nails dig under the skin of my palm. Um, uh, goodbye. I want out. Goodbye. You're afraid because you remember. I was in the river when you jumped just beneath the surface, waiting with arms outstretched. Our eyes met as you plunged down, below, whatever. We met again shortly afterwards. I glanced at you from the bottom of a bottle. You took those pills from a stranger's hand and dropped them on your tongue. You felt pretty when you did that. I watched you drown them in liquor. Now you're here. Ready to die? No. What did those girls call you? Daredevil. Trail seeker. Junkie. Suicidal. They weren't wrong. The things you did to make them laugh, to make them like you, you knew what it would cost. And every time you survived that plunge, you climbed higher. Always searching for happiness in others, when you can't scratch the surface of your own. You are a parasite. I shake my head. I wasn't trying to kill myself. Don't lie. I've been watching. Every risk. That jump. Those pills. Summoning her. I did it willingly. I liked it. It's weird how we speak in a... 
kind of voice and thinking my actual voice. You just need to bring the rope. Trust me, you love the feeling. Damn, it's better than every brush with death. Give me your hands. I'll do it for you. The rules give her nothing else. I won't let you. Don't be scared. It's fast, like cliff jumping. Give me your eyes. How about no? No. Maybe I was wrong. You were not ready. But I want you to stay. What do you mean? The sweet crash of glass shatters my focus. My hand trembles as I reach out, refusing to open my eyes. To my relief, the mirror remains intact. Ooh. As I lower my hand, I feel it. A braided necklace. Tightening. So pretty. I have a gift for you. Let me get the clasp. The clasp! Please, I... I won't visit again. Ah, well, you shouldn't have visited in the first place. The noose tears into my soft flesh with a burning touch. I can't breathe. I'm going to die. Oh, sweet Ivy. I promise you will. I know you. The next time you visit, you'll give me your hands willingly. We'll jump together. But for now... Jump scare? Goodbye. Say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. The rope slips away. She's gone. Goodbye, thank you. Oh, and that was it. Actually, only one choice. Well, I'm guessing you all know that I'm going to make the other choice too, so give me just a moment here, yes? Oh, the game actually isn't letting us play. Oh, are we getting some doki doki things done around here? Can we load? Oh, let me try this again. Okay, now we can do this again. I'm skipping ahead. So, let's say F you. F you. It was a dare. I feel her razor sharp smile grow. You're afraid because you remember. I was in the river when you jumped. Okay, just the same, just beneath the surface. Waiting with arms outstretched. Our eyes met as you plunged below. We met again. Okay, I'm skipping this, it's the same. Spot where the mirror breaks again or the crashing sound is heard. The mirror remains intact. A red flash. Lower my hand. Feel it. Yeah, the noose. Nothing different, I'd say. Can't breathe. Going to die. Oh, sweet Ivy. Promise you will. I know you. Next time you visit, you'll give me your hands willingly, we'll jump together. But for now... Goodbye. Say goodbye too, the rope slips away. She's gone. Goodbye. And the game ends. Have you got something hidden in here? Is there something more to this? I need to know. I need to look into this further. Give me a bit more. Okay, so I did a bit of uh, file diving. I saw that there is nothing more to this. Nothing that I could find actually. So, yeah, and I saw how you turned your arm back down there and back up. So, yeah, this is amazing. I like how you tackled the issue given for the game jam. You were a part of the visual novel. Game jump uh, zero to a two. So I want to see more of this. 
there is a solid story here and I want to see more. Uh, I want to see how Ivy's story will go. Maybe you get another visit from this entity, from this dead girl. And maybe it... It includes other supernatural stuff and occult stuff. So it's a really interesting premise and you have done it well. Everybody, go to the link down in the description below. Download this game, check it out for yourselves, help indie developers get their games out there. Also, thank you everybody so very much for watching. Please consider subscribing. Click the like button if you like the video, click the dislike button if you didn't like the video. Leave a nice comment, leave a comment with a suggestion of what you want to see me play next. All those nice things help my channel grow and I really, really appreciate it. I will see you all in the next one. Until then, stay safe and have fun.